We're going to head inside Verizon Wireless now. The skipper, Dave Tremblay, his post-game comments. <laughs> Talking to Bergeson before I came in, he said that's the ugliest win he's ever, ever got, but it felt the best that he's ever felt. So we'll take it. Putting a zero up in the fifth was, uh, was the key for him. Obviously, a lot of fight in our team tonight, uh, offensively, with some big hits and, uh, you know, a comeback win. Dave, you talk about doing the little things right, and Nolan, you know, slides, breaks up that double play, and then you guys score six runs. I mean, how, how big was something like that? The play in the game that turned it around back in our favor was the play Tejada made. The play Tejada made. Gave us a big lift. Uh, saved a run, ended the inning, put a zero up on the board when they were really uh, trying to add on, got our guys in to hit, and the momentum of the game changed on that one play that Tejada made. Dave, you kept preaching over and over again, these bats are going to wake up, these bats are going to wake up. I mean, did you finally feel kind of somewhat vindicated to see Well, the they did tonight. Yeah. Nick told me around the batting cage today, he said, I'm glad it's finally warmed up. Speaking of Nick, is this the guy that, that you've known? Is this what you wanted to see from him? What you've needed to see from him? Nick Markakis is a pure hitter. He can hit. Always has been. Nick's, uh, you know, a guy that I don't really concern myself with. Nick will be there at the end of the year with the numbers that he always puts up, and he'll probably put up better numbers this year. Day four innings, one hit. What happened in the fifth? Did you finally figure out Dice K, or was it just you guys were due? I mean, a complete turnaround there. We just got some pitches to hit and didn't miss them. You know, early in the game, uh, you know, he really changed speeds very well. Really changed speeds off his fastball. His fastball really fluctuated from high 80s to low 90s. And his breaking stuff was good. But then in the one inning, we just got to him. Didn't locate, got some balls up. And uh, in that one inning, we went up there a lot more aggressive. We didn't take. We went up there to hit. To you. Excuse me? Did some, uh, Samoan closer look better to you this time? Anything yeah, he didn't different? overthrow like he did last night. He didn't overthrow. Last night he really over. He was. He was flying off that mound tonight. He was. A, he stayed back over the rubber. Um, his split was a lot better. A lot better. Didn't try to throw it as hard. Ty had 11 home runs last year for you guys. He has eight already. What's the difference and and how hot is he right now? Well, you ask Ty, and he'll tell you if he gets his at-bats, he'll put his numbers up. He's getting his at-bats. Dave, uh, first series win. I realize you're not going to uh, you know, stand up and cheer here, but still, uh, do you feel maybe this is you know, one goal at a time? Well, we got April behind us, which wasn't uh, the most pleasant of circumstances, but you have to put it behind you, and uh, you have to keep fighting. You have to keep fighting, and play every game to the best of your ability and come out and do the very best you can. And you have to trust and have confidence in yourself and in your team. It's that simple. And know that sooner or later things will get better. But you got to make it get better. And uh, everybody's got to pull for one another and you need contributions from, from everybody. Dave, you mentioned it, Bergie saying it was kind of a, an ugly win, but what did you see out of him tonight? I've seen him pitch better. I've seen him pitch better. Those two homers balls that just didn't sink? Um, I haven't seen him on tape. I saw him from a pretty good vantage point in the dugout. It, it didn't seem like he let him go. Didn't seem like he really let him go. He didn't get good finish on him. But the big thing for him is he put a zero up in the fifth. Um, and he, it, that was enough. He had had enough. Was wreck the other day. Did you sense that he was more relaxed? Yeah, he was. Yeah. He wasn't walking around the mound. He wasn't looking in the dugout. Uh, he wasn't really rushing in between pitches. He had a he had a better tempo. But he's got he still got some. He gets underneath, especially the left-handed hitters. He gets underneath it a little bit. He'll be better. Hey, considering the struggles against the Yankees and Red Sox last year, four and four in the stretch at this point, 
Uh, well, we're going really to play Steve. Stuff? We're going to play him a bunch. Um, we just got to keep doing the things that we can do. I told uh, Albers, you know, before the game, he wouldn't pitch tonight because I've used the guy three nights in a row. And then just before I came in, I said, you know, what I told you before the game was every out's important, especially, you know, after the sixth inning. Every out you get is important. And uh, that proved to be the case tonight. And it certainly proves to be the case against those two teams when their offense is so good. You know, it's really good. They don't give at bats away. They make you work for outs because they try to draw you into a lot of hitters' counts, and they're not afraid to take. They're real good. All right.